first time here, welcome. And here we are. So last stream of the week, and we had started this week, uh, Death and Taxes. The, the game has been going pretty smoothly, going through it uh, quite uh, quite quickly. I don't actually know if it ends on the 28th day, but uh, we're certainly going to be getting there in this stream, and uh, we're going to have <laughs> and we're going to have a good time. You know, you know, not it's not murder. It, you know, it's official business as we send people to death. Um, if the game ends really quickly, we could always just do another playthrough, but try and be, like, super evil and see what changes. Or we could be rebelliously good and not kill anyone, you No. Know? So, uh, but, you know, whatever the case is, we're back with uh, Death and Taxes, and that's what we're going to be playing today. I uh, hope you're having a good weekend. On time? Yes, you are on time. Yeah, we're totally watching the quails right now. Um, I actually am watching the quails, Kathy. You fucking entitled Karen bitch sex offender woman actually yeah that, that's a good question are you drunk see we just groggy but anyway let's get let's get back and let's get into death and taxes or like day 22 or something like that yeah those those button quails like i didn't realize that there were birds that small that like had that had like a walking type instincts like that very interesting Oh my god! Okay, so something weird that keeps happening. So... My avatar software, like you to be here, it updated a few day like a few days ago. And it's been doing this weird thing where it's like, it's slightly glitching and blacking out the, uh, the desktop background. And now the game isn't responding. He's talking with his mom. Yeah, he, he crashed. Yep. Yeah. He crashed. He crashed. And so did the game. Wonderful. All right. Well, we're just gonna play. You know what? Just just so I don't have to, just to eliminate any chance of this happening twice in a row, we're gonna just uh, play without the avatar today. Because I opened him up earlier when I was preparing for the stream, and he did the same thing where he blacked out everything. So now I would rather just uh, not deal with that issue. Wait until uh, the software updates. Unfortunately, you get to see, you don't get to see any pretty anime boy face. It's totally not cursed beyond uh, recognition. Okay. All right. Last thing we were doing, we were going to go back to the servers servers bar to see if people have anything new to say. Any thoughts on Florian? That one. Can I say that you won't glean on your own? They try to act all suave on the surface, but truth be told, they're a proper jerk. At least when it comes to the job. Can't say I trust their judgment too much. Hello, bartender. When are you gonna come through that tunnel you're at the end of? <laughs> uh. They don't seem responsible. You think your profession needed conscientious workers, right? Don't take this the wrong way. I don't often disparage patrons of the den. We have here a shared experience. <laughs> Just hoping they won't cause some sort of a major blunder. What else you got in mind? Au revoir, little reaper. I like her, but she is very quiet. Also, you know what? Oh no, it's at ma it's at maximum. Never mind. Never mind. It's at maximum. Time to go to fuck to sleep. I think so. What is this box? And. We changed our appearance already, right? I dreamt the bags of oh. sickly meat and brittle bone ceased to exist. Collapsed into a pile of bone meal and bubbling innards juice. From the mulch rose a new, better human being. Much more capable of living. Unburdened by weak spindly ligaments and fragile respiratory systems. 
I've seen it too. <laughs> I actually haven't. I haven't. If that's a thing, I haven't noticed. Saddening yet hopeful. It's an image that raises more questions than it solves. You imagine a golden trim to a rotten shack. Imagine a golden trim to a rotten shack. You don't know everything. We know more things under the stars than a reaper yet to open their eyes. Be seeing you. Fuck you. Au revoir? I hate the way she says au revoir. I don't really know how it's supposed to be said, so I wouldn't know, but... Uh, okay. I want to click on this box. Or not. Oh god! It's even worse than it used to be. What on earth? What are these? What the fuck? Oh, it's the lamp! Today is simple, Grim. It is as if a great calmness has enveloped the world. I do not see the need for many deaths for today. New discoveries await. Faith. Quote of the day, two humans must die. Okay. Only two. You can, like, see weird information about them. But only... I remember when I bought this thing, it said you could only see the information after you judge them, though. Okay. Khalil Jones, 40, advisor. Khalil believes in their power to give only the best advice to potential presidential candidates of neutral of the neutral party to boost the success of their campaign. Their self-confidence might be misplaced as the reputations of everyone they've advised thus far have crashed and burned. mirror doesn't shut up next time I'm gonna squirt Windex on it and not clean it off. <laughs> the city Gowan. The, the city Gowan. 82. Retired. The city feels old and tired. They've lived a good enough life as they see it and would live like to get it on get on with it already. See what, whatever lies beyond the veil, so to speak. Or does it? They don't really care either way as long as death finally gets around to them. Oh, we'll kill you then since you literally want it. Catalina Worthington, 70, retired live streamer. <laughs> After long and exciting life of adventure, Catalina finally decided to settle down and pursue this newfangled thing called live streaming on Jiggle TV. Oh god. They've amassed a small but dedicated following due to their charming personality and infectious laugh. Jiggle TV. I don't like the name of Jiggle TV. Samir Linden, 44, waste disposal. Samir loves the environment and hates littering and non-recycled garbage with fiery passion. They've helped make several waste recycling plants more efficient and constantly educate the public on correct waste management techniques. Okay. Well, this, this person here wants to die. I think it's meant like a cam web, so just a synonym of Twitch. I know, it's just... It's just the fact that they use the word jiggle. Oh, good. Uh, I'm gonna kill this guy because he's incompetent. And these people get to live. Because they are good people. Nothing wrong with them. I don't know what these mean. Flower wealth, health, east? Flower Wealth Health Peak. Okay. Like, I don't really understand what these signify. I'm gonna be honest. I fucking forgot about the phone. Shit. I really want pancakes, but I shouldn't. I'm just gonna repeatedly complain about it. That's fine. Welcome back! Oh, actually, how was your break? There... Adequate. Now, let us not waste time and get on with it. Remember the fiasco when your turn to die where everyone was trying to figure out 
what the red light meant. I do remember that, yes. In the, uh... The end of part three. Right. I see the exact amount of profiles requested. At least someone seems to be up to their task. Oh, whatever. Sorry, have I offended you somehow? You? No, Grim. You have not. Why am I... Livid? Because the rest of highest management thought it necessary to remind me that taking sudden leave is detrimental to our aspirations. B Fate agrees too. He said right, so he watched your turn to die. Oh wow, I'm so I'm so happy for Fate to watch my live stream. Because they thought to admonish me for taking a couple of days to perform important research. Because, as was reminded, the saying goes, well, how was it? Nothing in life is more certain than... Death and taxes? Yes, exactly. Either way, the nerve they have to lecture me on how to do my job. Say nothing. Uh, no matter, Grim. I apologize for taking it out on you. Good night. Fate remembers the 32 stream Omori saga. <laughs> Yo ho ho! What can old Mortimer provide you with today? Ape and a witch and a fidget spin. So. I'm gonna keep going to the mirror now just so that I can get the dialogue. Okay, no, no, dude, no, nothing new then. Let's check the phone this time. There we go. Breakthrough in bacteriology may lead to bacteria that consume non-biodegradable plastic. That's very good. That's a thing that we uh, we're trying to do in real life. Daily Moon. Neutral president rises to power after replacing entire advisory team. Former advisors advisors reported missing. Good. Tune in. Tune in today. These live streams by a jolly elder are absolutely worth it. Welcome to the end of the road. The city going. Be at peace. Oh, nice. Yeah, I don't understand what the... Fiery gaze aimed upon the unworthy dregs of stationery and other office supplies. What? My modest excuse is grim. Right. The situation is that everything got all jumbled up in our fax delivery system. You should listen to your gut today. <laughs> your gut, yes, because you are, a, you know, a skeleton. Quota of the day, go with the flow. Okay, we'll only kill evil people. Sure. Timofe Mogye. Mogye. Uh, 22. Pole Vaulter. Timofe doesn't really think about all the difficult and confusing aspects of life. Their objective is to take a pole, run a bit, and then vault over a bar, no matter how high it has been placed. Go with our gut feeling. Typo Anoi. Anoi. Retired. Typo is the grumpiest, most cantankerous senior citizen possible. They dislike absolutely everyone and everything, and are adamant about making everyone's life more difficult in both life and death. There is no escape from Kaipo. Conrad Ulmer, 30. Manicurist. Conrad is obsessed with building the ultimate gel nails. Their designs keep getting wilder and more impractical each day, but customers keep coming, coming thirsty for more fashionable, weaponizable nails. Weaponizable? And no, no weaponizing. No weaponizing. Peter Fields. Shine them all under the light of truth. Yeah, but like the they all have the same symbols when I shine them under the, this light. That's the problem I have with this light. It, it shows all the same thing. So I don't really know what the point is. That's my problem with it. 
Peter Fields, 27, System Administrator. Peter started working as a sysadmin at a hospital straight out of college, but doesn't really understand what, the da what data security is. When new employees join the team, they usually send them all their passwords and other classified information through through a simp unencrypted. That sounds dangerous. You shouldn't be doing that. So, uh, yeah, you're gonna get a bunch of people killed if I don't kill you, so. Chloe Miller, 29, Rock Climber. Chloe is constantly training to conquer the Rockworm Peak by free climbing the full height of it for charity. Okay. Their practice regimen was hindered by having their leg broken in three places. An injury they obtained by jumping down and jumping down in celebration of an indoor climbing wall. That was stupid of you, but you get to live. You're doing charity, so. You are doing charity work. Oh! If I shine the light on them. Oh! I see. Okay, interesting. Okay. Temple Gaustot, 43, military consultant. A consulting contractor, as is often said in their resume, Temple is a ba is basically a coup, a coup master. Whenever a country needs cooing for whatever imperious reasons, Temple is ready to send be sent in to provide necessary support, intel, and logistics for any coups. They're always happy to work to the highest bidder. A coom master. More peace, more economy. Okay. Cool. Glad I killed you. Damien Watts, 42, geographer. Damien is a geomorphologist researching a mysterious new series of mineral formations. Appearing mostly in the tundra regions, this phenomenon exhibits a shimmer. They're often shaped like human arms. Damien is on the verge of breakthrough. That sounds very intriguing. Ooh, minus world health, but bonus for the ecology and the economy, okay? Interesting. Louis Jewa, forklift operator. Oh man, this guy's forklift certified. His cock must be three feet long. Luigi is a revolutionary, a radical, an avant-garde hero of the people, the ultimate underdog, vanguard of change, beloved by all. They love cruising around in their forklift at high speeds, which, considering the forklift, is not very fast. I feel like he's gonna kill someone if I let him live. That's my gut instinct. I think he's gonna kill somebody with his forklift. Because people can say forklifts aren't dangerous because they don't go fast, but that's still they're still they're still dangerous, though. So. World peace minus the economy. Okay, cool. Dithian Wainwright. They are not dangerous. They are not are you are you sure are you sure, CJ? Zitian Wainwright, 35, school bus driver. Zitian drives children to and from school every day. Although it seems like a job that requires responsibility, they're usually pretty lax about it. Sometimes are taking in soft narcotics before getting behind the wheel. They say it makes them focus better. Yeah, no. That's minus world peace, but plus for the, eco for the ecology? Okay, weird. Did I already check the phone? I did, okay. That is so strange. He is certified. You would never be irresponsible with a forklift. Yeah, except for the part where it said that he's like a rebel personality and he intentionally speeds around on the forklift, so. I killed a lot of people. I killed six people. <laughs> Jesus Christ. They seem suspicious to me. Grim, welcome. 
You know, pursuing my art has given me insights. I have been thinking of humanity, of mortality, their importance, worth, and meaning. What's the result so far? A disarray of thoughts. Listen, is death really such a bad thing? It would be better for everyone. In fact, do these humans even truly exist? <laughs> Their ephemeral being leads to no relevant outcome. I don't know if I like the way he just pronounced ephemeral. Is that like a proper British way of pronouncing ephemeral? It is all transient, no matter what they do or achieve in life. Go on, I'll hear you out. They exist in a state of hubris and arrogance, considering them the center of the universe. Yet without them, the sun still sets and rises. Stars explode, and galaxies form, or get torn apart. There are departments even for these events. Really? Interesting. Humans are not the be-all, end-all pinnacle of creation. They are small and insignificant, yet full of themselves. The grandeur of everything will not get superseded by specks of nothing. Okay, but, okay, so if there is a department for the creation and destruction of galaxies and stars, does that mean there's, like, a trillion departments for aliens on other planets? Go on. It matters not how they live through their subjective experiences. Millions upon billions of them, everyone considering themselves unique. And technically they are, I suppose, on a minor scale, yet also exceedingly similar. Copying each other, living through similar events with similar basic reactions. Every sci-fi plot twist ever is that humans are insignificant. It'd be hilarious if there was a plot twist that we are. <laughs> yeah, like, we're just like... I mean, you can make the argument that, like, the existence of the Grim Reaper is dependent upon humans even being alive, which means that if humans were all gone, we would have no purpose and we would be insignificant. And yet, theoretically, if humans became immortal, we would also become insignificant. So, like, we're sort of just... We're sort of just existing for the purpose of busybodying their the end of their lives. Which isn't very meaningful in comparison to what they achieve when they're still alive, rather than what happens when they die. The plot twist is that it is man who is made in God's image, not the Xeno scum. <laughs> While the universe is full of endless No, Rag, we need to have sex with the aliens. What are you talking about? Or perceived ever. The universe is full of endless wonders they cannot and will never experience perceive. Fuck, you're right! <laughs> Even if they're giant elephant jellyfish, they speak. La if they have language, they have a cognitive understanding of re of reality. Doesn't matter. What's that? What's that fucking the Harkness the Harkness test? Always consult the Harkness test. Plot twist is that humans are super special, awesome glitter rainbow unicorns that shit, uh, you know, sprinkles. We could help them but we could help them experience these things but why what would that change their presence is not even necessary to validate these events outside their subjective experience or understanding do you know the same Rue? if a tree falls in the forest and no one is around to hear it good yes imagine that Life reduced only to some human vicinity. The ultimate height of arrogance ingrained in them. To imagine their presence to be paramount. Variable intelligence to humans, capable of communication, and are sexually mature for their species, I think is the test. Uh, yes. And are, and also consent. <laughs> the tree does not only sound, it has been sounding a long time. It has grown without anyone present. It has lived a life. 
Yeah, I've always found that idea of, oh, does it make a sound? I've always found that to be a stupid thing because, like, things objectively exist outside of our perception. It's like... None of this requires humanity to be there to bear witness. agree with what you said. Then you have much yet to learn. Good night, Grim. Yeah, but just like the tree is a valid thing to, or to live, like the humans are also valid and living as well, so it's kind of a... Uh... Mighty, it is an utmost pleasure to see you again. Cat ears, or that we have to save up for the fidget spinner. Your cat ears would look really nice on me. Inspire all the felines in the world. Just don't talk or even think about the film adaptation of the musical. Oh my god. I was at a birthday and my back is making me tired. Well, if you need to go to bed, man, then go to bed. Is your hand tired? Are your fingers getting stiff? You've been clicking around for quite a while. Fuck you! Don't break the fourth wall. This is not the game to break the fourth wall with. Um, no, my hands are fine. Ah, you have the fortitude to keep on with the grind until the very end. Must be why fate chose you instead of all the other candidates. Lost souls. Are you talking to someone else? No, no. It's you who died and found your way here. I'm not, no. To the office. Where you belong. What? All right. How many is it today? Five. Okay. Important. Grim, how do I put this? There is a nigh invulnerable ra virus ravaging everyone on the planet. Meanwhile, you know what to do. Quota. Four humans must die. Okay. Pro news. Grouchiest senior in Cosmopolis dies. Still manages to make life worse for everyone. Pro news. School bus driver on a stroll... School bus driver on a stroll struck by a drunken driver. Yeah. Well, he, he was driving while well, under the influence anyway, so. Juan Miller braves the jagged lines of Rockworm Peak for Save Small Souls Children's Foundation. New highly conductive and strong material named Damium found to be highly toxic. Hundreds of industrial companies frantically purging their factories. Oops. Reckless forklift operator drives off cliff. <laughs> Some of a jumps over their highest bar yet at the qualifiers, soon to vault themselves right to the world champion. Polito. Attempted coup fails in in Gallstad. Democratic institutions restored. Zombie flicks are as popular as ever. Check out the Blam check out Blam Blam 6-2 in Cinemas Today. Newfound virus threatens to sweep every continent. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right, four must die, so I have to pick one to live, basically. Ruben Phillips, 19. You look 50. Unemployed lab rat. Ruben is currently in between jobs and is actively looking for employment. They are enamored by zombie horror films and go to the cinema almost compulsively. They earn most of their living currently by taking part in medical human trials. Sipiso Eek. General Contractor, 44. Sipiso constructs buildings, not much else to it. They try their best to manage between the demands of the clients and the experimental ideas of architects. In their spare time, they like carving small sculptures. I don't want you to die, but... I don't know if there's anybody... Imagine death fucking roasts you before killing you. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Gordon Onoy... Onogoye. Okay. Pharmacist. Gordon got through the medical college mostly by cheating. As such, they barely remember what they were taught. When people ask for consultations at the pharmacy, they usually say a lot of random smart-sounding words. 
They often also sell the medicine randomly. Okay, you're fucking dead. I'm... In fact, I'm not even gonna... I'm not even gonna hesitate. Plus health, plus peace. Okay, that was only a good thing. Sana Nixolo. And, or Sana and Enzolo. Sana is a therapist for marital and intimate matters, mostly focused on helping those of an older age. They're always trying to promote an active and healthy lifestyle in all matters. Their favorite pastime is playing with their three dogs. Josefa Ellen Eleonor Margita, 28, nurse. All their life, Josefa has made their personal mission about caring for those who cannot care for themselves. In addition to their hospital job, they also volunteer at random various community centers. They rent a small apartment in the suburbs with their brother and live a quiet and happy life. I have to kill three more people. I'm sorry, my dude, but, uh... Hold on, I'm gonna pull you under this. Sorry, my friend, but, uh... Minus world health, goddammit. I, I like I like these three. They're doing they're good. I think the nurse is the one that has to live. Unfortunately, I think I think I have to choose that. Minus economy, minus world health. Oh my god. I'm sorry about all this. Plus for the environment, apparently. I don't know why, but... What do you mean, minus world health and minus peace? What the fuck are you talking about? Fuck you. Serious game? Well, I can only... I can only erase one. Oh, Christ. Whatever. the sweet taste of deliverance. Every blade of grass, every ray of light. What are you talking about? It is a captivating day, is it not, Grim? Not really, something bad is going on in the world. Indeed. Alas, transformations often require sacrifices. Do you agree? Uh, my high spirits leave me at a loss for words. What am I supposed to do now? What you always do, Grim. It is your job to take care of the world. I trust you to make the correct choices. I, myself, must concentrate. The muses have struck me. They beckon. Work to be done while there is still time. Such as this game is very intriguing. To we'll talk to the mirror again. Nope, nothing to say. Nothing to say to me. You bitch. If I ever return to the sea, I'd have yummy crew any time. Oh, cool. I get, I'm gonna get this fidget spinner. It's a uh, tenebrous curiosity. Spins and whirs, it clicks and clacks. Very soothing and helpful in times of stress. More to you, less to others. Well, blow me down, lad. Tis the arcane fibbledy scoop of some wizard whose name I ne'er got. All clicks and crackles and bibbles and bops. Found it scale in a tower. Used as a rat trap. The wee buggers couldn't get enough of it. Playing so hard they forgot about frivolous things. Like food or sleep. <laughs> Tis a remedy for restless fingers and idle hands. Can't buy those. Uh, yeah, let's go. Did 
Daily Moon, crazed volunteer turns violent in retirement home. Is nowhere safe anymore? What? Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have killed people based upon how much they expose themselves to the population. Maybe that's what I should have done. Hmm. Because of the virus. Young people in latest antiviral medicine trial warned of severe risks as one dead from compl as one dead from complication. Is the forest haunted by witches? Creepy little wooden statues found all across found all across the nearby woods. Television feature calls upon the end times as deadly virus officially announced as pandemic. Okay, wow. Galaxy Brain Consultancy. Is this some new form of dark magic? What? What ho, Grim? The virus does not seem to be fatal on its own, but it seems to make people terribly aggressive towards each other. A true apocalypse. Quote for the day. Six humans must die. Steal yourself. So since the virus is uh, not... Ki isn't... Kill so whenever I kill somebody, I'm not killing them with the virus. I'm killing them because of their situations they end up in. Which means... I should be, like, trying to judge this based upon how much damage a living person would do to the rest of the world. I probably can't keep making choices based upon, like, uh, their own moral factor. Essi Ovelainen. Ovelainen. I don't know how to fucking pronounce this. Yet. Okay. 42 Project Advisor. Essie is a project, is a professional project advisor, also known as a consultant. They get paid inordinate amounts of money for consultations, which are these vague events where they tell com companies to do things. When not working, they love tea, cross-stitching, and smashing the patriarchy. <laughs> Plus economy, minus uh, environmental health, I guess. Okay. Jackie Funk. Funke. 34. Televangelist. Jackie has been a devout ever since their faith saved them from wicked criminal ways. They've since moved to legal ways of amassing wide groups of followers and fortune as a televangelist. Probably gonna kill you, but we'll see. H. Bob Abalone. 35. Unemployed. H. Bob used to be a developer at the IT company H-Arm, but then suffered a grievous wrist injury. They've taken some time off to mend themselves, currently living off the savings they set aside when still working, okay? Udo Elina Fey. Or Elia Something like that. Unemployed homeless. A few years ago, Ludo fell into hard times. They tried their best to claw back into society, but failed. Recently, they've been going to job interviews again as the market is looking for fresh recruits after a series of sudden outbreaks of disease uh, I probably have to kill you I have to kill six people fucking ridiculous Eric O'Brien 42 optometrist Eric loves gazing deep into the eyes of people they just can't they just can't enough They just can't get enough of what they see in there. Usually pupils, corneas, the retina, and the rest. Sometimes they imagine they can see into the very soul of the person. Sometimes they just see eye damage they need to work on. You're not a bad person. Lenny Kuski. Movie director. A notorious filmmaker made famous by the Blam Blam series. Lenny is enjoying their fame and fortune on the private resort outside Cosmopolis City. They feel like they are really touching people with their work and consider expanding this to a franchise of its own. You're kind of unimportant, my dude. Dar Ashley. Dar is a homeschooling veteran, with their pupils mostly being from the elite of society. They feel very comfortable with teaching and will likely continue to do so until retirement. They've always wanted children of their own, but never found the time or effort to go down that path. Again, you're not a bad person. I have to, amongst these, I have to pick one person to live. Um, 
Man. I feel like an... Uh, we're going... This guy has the least amount of exposure to the population because he specifically just tutors individual people at home. He doesn't really constantly interact with other people. This, this... This guy doesn't either. But I also don't know how his job would help with the crisis in the world. But I think we're gonna have this guy survive. Well, before I do that... Plus economy, minus world peak. Okay. Weird, but okay. Minus... <laughs> plus peace. Plus uh, environment. Minus economy, minus health. Okay, well... Plus peace, minus economy. Okay. This fucking sucks. I don't want to kill literally all these people, but... Minus peace, minus economy. Yep. Plus environment, plus economy, minus health, minus peace. Okay, well... Did we look at the phone? Yeah. Creepy shit do you have to say to me now? Grim, I find myself at an impasse. Lend me your thoughts. Should my prose be more experimental? Or should I <laughs> stick to traditional narrative technique? I mean, you're like an abstract being, so I'm gonna say experimental. Grand, yes. The exploratory aspect can lead me across the boundary. You are still here, Grim? I guess you want to talk about work instead? Oh, uh, fine. Let us take a look at the situation. My, so much chaos. Pain and suffering are off the charts. What is... wow. Reanimated corpses running around consuming the flesh of other humans? Oh, wow. They are unstoppable. Brutal death machines. Astounding. And it all stems from a singular patient zero. Carry and driver. Sometimes it takes but a small hand. Wow, we uh, may or may not be partially responsible for a zombie apocalypse. What can I say? Things do not seem to be going well at all. What's going on? The world just keeps getting worse. I thought your rules were supposed to stop this. Mm. Are you sure you followed them properly? To the letter? Yes, I fu- What? I don't think no is an answer anyone would pick. Ah, uh, what is done is done. These are the consequences you must live with. While you still live. Off to work, Grim. Certainly you have no time to waste now. Great. How many times have we met? I lost all count. Smokes. Smokes are deadly, you know. A curse fouler than any I ever met. Not to me wildest dreams could I rob so many lives. Tis gazing down the length of an infinite tobacco stick. Inching ever closer to the end. An ancient shaman gifted me this pack after I rescued their child from the rabbit coyote. Guess they weren't pleased with me good deed. Assume this visage and forever be reminded of the mortality of all. Okay. Psst. Hey, what, pray tell, happened to the world? 
I did. I'm a failure. I don't know if I feel responsible, but, um, I don't know. Sure you do. It's the culmination of all your choices. Fuck you. Do you know the story of the Wyvern and the Prince Consort? No. Of course you do. A young, quick-witted Prince Consort was once kidnapped by a Wyvern. Using their Wyvern. Kind of charm, they tried to alter the ways of the Wyvern in order to save their life. Soon, the Beast and the Prince found resonating ideas and ambitions. They molded the land in rather inept ways whilst thwarting attempts of rescue by the Queen. Then the Wyvern, tired of the desolation, ate the Prince and flew away. Am I the Queen? <laughs> oh, that is that is so funny. Am I the Prince? Yes. You would have answered yes to any of those. Yes. Fuck you. It doesn't matter if your mistakes were countless or few, as long as you learn the lesson. We are thankful of our time together, even as it's quickly running out. It'll be pretty horrible from here on out. Okay. Maybe I... I've bought almost all the items that I can buy, so I think I might just start going... I think I start, might start ignoring some of my direction. So where do I get the smokes? Like what? Where do the smokes appear? Oh, they. Oh, that's weird. That's weird. <laughs> that's really weird. I don't want to have a have a weird face. Oh, I can scroll wheel as well. There's like three different ways to scroll the elevator. Ugh. Bar open today? No. I think I'm gonna stop killing people on it. Oh, wow. Okay, well. In Influencer. Take a look at this teacher mercilessly shutting down a violent tantrum. Famous preacher dies during marathon session. Heart attack is suspected cause. Televangelist legend leaves massive fortune to their devout followers as death wish on live TV. Modern classic filmmaker accidentally killed by housemaid in an apparent sexual harassment attempt. Oh, Jesus. Traffic accidents, a sharp rise as average driver behavior increases erratic. Serious Sirico strikes again. Ex-developer found dead at home. Company is in mourning. Incredible consultant so close to figuring out com a completely new consultancy level that their head exploded. Oh god! Like scanners? Oh my god, what the fuck? Entire Cosmopolis city in quarantine. Please do not leave your homes. Alright. Great. I hope you read this post haste. The viral crisis is at its apex. Surviving humans are subjected to intense quarantine, but some cities still remain inhabited and functional. Deal with them. Quota for the day, two humans must die. Right? We only have three people. I might ignore I might start ignoring uh the orders though, because we bought almost everything we could buy, right? Ismo Gustav, 44, Lieutenant General. Lieutenant General Ismo Gustav has served their country with respect and admiration. They are currently tasked with containing the massive viral epidemic recently dubbed the White Death. Oh, Simo Haya is assassinating everyone? Oh, cool. As Cosmopolis City falls apart, they stay vigilant and upholding their duty with whatever means necessary. Ryo Kobayashi. 35, politician. Ryo has been aggressively advocating for a new radical policy which completely eliminates all taxes. Any and all vocal opponents are mercilessly mocked. I mean, what did taxes ever do for us anyway? I mean, I wish the world worked this way, but I don't trust a politician to be doing that. You can say based all you want, but a politician saying something like this has something up their sleeve. There's no way a politician says this unironically and not have something up their sleeve. Because this is just... Because here's the thing. We hate taxes... 
but we inherently know why we pay taxes and to maintain structures that are public domain. Um, and like the pro the problem is all has always been like mis the misspending of taxes, not really taxes themselves. Oh, the government's gonna spend taxes on hookers and blow. Great, I'm pissed. Fuck you. Kill them. <laughs> Government sucks if it's gonna spend all our taxes on hookers and blow. Eswari Shah, 35, preacher. Eswari found religion after hitting rock bottom after selling a family clock radio for a tiny fix. They got mugged in the alleyway, but found help in a nearby church. After living through withdrawal, their life felt filled with an otherworldly warmth, so they devote themselves to helping others in a situation similar to what theirs had been. Uh, I'm gonna actually ignore I'm gonna actually ignore my orders to a certain extent. I'm only gonna kill one person. I'm gonna let. I'm gonna have this person live. Plus peace, minus ecology, minus wealth. Whatever. Um, I'm not a massive person on religion, but at the same time, this person seems like they're helping people. So, minus peace, plus world health. That's good. We need world health because uh of the outbreak. And this guy is sus. He is sus to me. Yep, plus peace, plus wealth. <laughs> there was only a positive thing to, to kill him. I did read my thing. So I'm not gonna get paid and I don't really care. Mm, hello, Grim. I have been absorbed in my work. Tell me. How goes it out there, in the wilds? It's just properly spiraling out of control. Fate unconstrained, with nothing to stop it. Seems a terrible power, yes? Not unless I stop you! Wild bands of animated corpses roaming the streets, attempting to break through the barriers of the survivors' compounds. Worked out, want to take my soul out? Yeah, that moment when you want to, like, pull all the nerves out of your body and, like, wring them out. You know, put them through a dryer and then put them back inside, yeah. You wring it out like a carpet. You know these edgy gamer gummies don't taste bad! Well, like, when have vitamin gummies ever not been, ever been, like, terrible? Wrote in Japanese journal about exercise? Very good, very good. My, my, it truly looks like the end. I am giddy with anticipation. Maybe I can still find a way. All seems to be outside our timid grasp already. You say that. Goodness, look at the time, Grim. Precious moments wasted. Enjoy your night. He didn't give a shit about me breaking the rules. Mirror lady doesn't want to speak to me. Not gonna have money for whatever Mortimer is selling. Apocalypse now! Unbeknownst to themselves, human society has finally collapsed. Whatever normalcy and humanity was left in the world is now swiftly fading. The quote of the day, the few remaining humans have to die. No. Entire Cosmopolis city in quarantine. Please do not leave your homes. At guard, all citizens ordered to stay in containment areas. Daily Moon. It's a miracle. Aswari Sa saves thousands of lives with their 10-step program and setting up support centers all over the country. Pro News. Multiple attacks on Shah churches suspected to be mob-related. Pro News. All citizens required to move to designated control areas. Yeah, we're, um... We're gonna read these two people, and we're gonna we're probably gonna let, have, let them live. Archibald Roland, 73, the president. Archibald, the leader of the free world, went to the election race promising to funnel more money into healthcare to tackle eth ethical problems within the pharmaceutical industry. Now they orbit over Cosmopolis City with their presidential aircraft accompanied by their twin brother Gothard, completely clueless about, about what happened and why. Kaya Chadwick, 25, butcher. 
Hey, I never thought they'd have the stomach for chopping up meat. Turns out the trick was to disassociate and have sharp knives. They tend to be slightly hasty and wasteful when handling their product. On the weekends, Kaya does a street circus act that focuses on knife juggling. Never mind, I will kill you. You are a danger. Plus world health, minus peace. Don't give a shit. Fuck you. We're gonna have the president survive. Wait. There's not. Sh there's no stats on the president. Huh. Interesting. This is a plus for world health, so... No, I am not killing everyone. I, I only killed one person right there. If there's no people, then, like, what's the point? Any of this. It is growing quieter, Grim. Not much left now. What an utter catastrophe. An immaculate execution. The work of an artist. Ravenous corpses still roam around, searching for the final survivors. Once finished, they would also slowly perish. Not a trace remains. I wonder how many different endings are in this game, based upon my choices. Because I assume that the reason we ended up with the zombie apocalypse is because I, I was picking based upon, like, morality and not thinking about logistics very much. There could be some sort of a metaphor for gluttony in this. Hmm. Anyway, and crucially, my book is nearing completion. I fail to see how that's more crucial. We are talking of exceptional art, my friend. A visionary breakthrough. Leave me to my grand labor, Grim. Tomorrow we shall deal with the final matters of this office. You've done well, Grand Reaper. We both know that's not true. Yeah, wasn't believable at all. We lack the imagination to pretend this is a world where you were competent. So, what comes next? You're the chatty one, so tell me how to fix it. Too late. Unless you cobble together a bit of temporal manipulation. Hop over to a different reality and do better. <sighs> That'd really be something. Fuck you. Right, I'll just go push my universal undo button. If such a button existed, it'd obviously be called, like, New World Plus. <laughs> go on, Oddball. Nothing else to wait for. I don't even know what to think now. Me neither. Sometimes that's the best we can do. We've reached the end. In general, I mean. Not with us. We will never leave. Who the fuck are you? As long as there is a you, there will be us. Until the next round. Okay, so we're definitely not done with the game. Like, there's more to do after the first... After the first uh, attempt. Can we fuck the the goblin woman though before we die? Before it ends? Grimoire. My good pal Grimoire. It's already been a month. It's like you just got here a couple hours ago. Word is you've caused a huge mess out there in the world. And things like burning, drowning, dying all at once. Thought you had it locked down. What did you expect with everyone getting in my way? Who exactly is getting in your way? Why can't I say... Wait. Ah, boss. Certainly highest management should know better than to let this catastrophe happen. And inexcusable. You imagine you ought to be in charge instead? No, but I'm not going to complain anyway. You're being kind of ridiculous. 
time you took responsibility for your actions. <laughs> the blame doesn't always lie with others around you. It's too late to change things down the road. The final call echoes through the valley. I wonder what's going to happen with the office now that you've got very little left to do. We can wait until a new organism takes over the world? It's a plan. I can give you that. Maybe not the best, but something. Might be time to get that last drink. Sure. I can drink. What's your poison? I have enough money for this? One sour grouse heading your way. Drink it alone. Sour grouse tastes as before of subcrustal collapses, acerbic turmoils, and saliferous assaults. Feels a bit less special this time around, although it's still delectable. I'll be going now. Au revoir, little reaper. You got chili favor on the long beef chips now? Ooh, nice. Oh, is this Mortimer? What ho, mighty! At last we meet here, the finest tavern in all the lands. You know, I'm reminded of the time me and me crew were sailing around the Cape of Ill Omen. I'm listening with bated breath. A correspondent to the name. A mighty storm or a brew right on the horizon. Shook our ship to and fro. Many of me mates swept into the icy depths of the unforgiving ocean. I, the seas of cruel mistress, no ways of hospitality. Keep listening. All of a sudden, the beguiling song of the sirens reached me ears. Now, ye think sirens would sing a four, trying to lure ye to wreck ye ship on the rocks. Nay. Sirens be having a bomb rack. They even tried to save some of me mates, but twas too late. Many claims by the copper. Afterwards, we all, sailors and sirens alike, got exceedingly drunk off some frog we found. <laughs> Can't let the chance for a good party to go to waste, eh? Can I tell you a story? Absolutely, you scallywag. Old Mortimer's always willing to hear tales of glorious exploits. I woke up one morning. A gruesome hangover. A lot of regular paperwork in my hand. Suddenly, I saw... Ash and Decay. Subsequently, I am told to report to the boss. I said I'd been doing a good job. So I thought... This is far more difficult than I initially thought. And I hope to do better next time. Uh huh. I see. Twas a most remarkable tale. <laughs> a marvelous memoir. A fabulous favor. In return, I ask for ye a gift. This here contraption is called a phantasm. Use it to measure the many spirits ye have imbued into your gullet. Handy after any visit to the tavern. Twas a great pleasure to have your attention. Time to head back to me, Emporium. Comrus awaits. That was cool. I guess we don't get to, I guess we don't get to fuck Goblin Woman. That sucks. Oh well. All right, we already talked to the to her. But yeah, I caused a fucking zombie outbreak because I was thinking with my heart instead of uh, logistically. So I'll have to do things differently. Interesting. 
instructions. Hello, Grim. We have come to it at last. Only one choice left to make. The last human must die. The end is nigh. At guard, all citizens subject to curfew. Proceed immediately to your designated control area. The president, please remain calm. We have the best solution for everyone. It's raining knives. Witness this grisly knife juggling accident. Feel them, the night creep inside our bones. Let us stop and wait until we freeze together. Fate, you're, abs you're out of your fucking mind. Athreya Yao, 26, last human. One last living entity stumbling across an endless wasteland, drawing their final breath. And there's no result again. Fuck you. You're not dying. You're gonna you're gonna asexually reproduce. Life givers spare everyone on a single day. Well that's like the easiest way of doing that. Anybody else new? Hello, the Grimace returns to our humble establishment. You know, soon there will be tumbleweeds rolling around unless things pick up a bit. Sure, what's your poison? Oops, I'm totally broke. Never mind, thanks. What else you got in mind? Au revoir, little reaper. I guess there's nothing new, so let's just go talk to fate. Last day, Grim. The last choice. So, how did you choose? Spared, a final act of defiance. As you wish. It does not matter. One human is not enough to save the species, after all. But we ought not prolong the suffering of the last one. No need for such cruelty. I take it you were behind it all somehow? That would seem fairly obvious <laughs> by now, I gather. The great dying is by my design. It is true, I do not love humanity. Not a bit. But why, you ask? I didn't, but sure, go ahead. I have grown tired of it all. This tedious existence. These humans. The endless tirade of death. It is all meaningless, you see. An endless loop of monotony that I cannot escape. That we cannot escape. Do you know how long I have been doing this? I barely remember myself. I am exhausted and sick of it all. I wish to stop, but no one can leave until the job is done. But if the great dying claimed them all, then I could be free and claim the rest I deserve. So, I helped the great dying along, piece by piece. You piece of shit. No need for an equilibrium. This office will not be necessary. And we can all fade away. Total annihilation because you feel bad? Wow, that's some egotism. Your hollow judgment is insignificant at this point. Off you go, Grim. Do what you wish with these final hours. We will not be meeting again. So you think. I'll be back. Witness the end of the world. War changes. Finish the game with lowest chaos and peace. Plague Doctor. Turned into a Redditor. Yes, he did. Well, it's time to uh, bite the Dusto. Oh, it even shows my pumpkin helmet. Humanity wiped out as you powerlessly wait to fade away. It even has my pumpkin hat. Fellow traveler, that was fun, wasn't it? The choices, the excitement. Admittedly, ye did lordly screw <laughs> Fuck everything you. up. Fuck you! The world is in shambles and all. Can't really change that. But, 
I can offer a new cycle. A turn of the hourglass, and ye shall be set upon a path in a fresh timeline. A parallel world, so to speak. There ye will again find every friend and enemy, hope and error. Knowledge and loot will remain, of course. Otherwise, tis the eternal recurrence of all things. New chance? The uh, Yeah, now we're gonna go with the new chance. Begin again, start new game plus. Lemon. Lemon. Wait, what? Spice. And human eyes. These were the ingredients chosen to make the perfect little grim. <laughs> Let's go all white, because we're not going to fuck everything up like last time. Awoken. And I don't need your money anymore. What a momentous day. I am honored to welcome you into our world. Spawn. Hang on. Spawn number two, four. Spawn number 24 now, huh? We were 23 before. I'm going to lean back. Now that I'm not needing to necessarily read the font of his stupid orders, his daily orders, I think I'm fine with leaning back now and suffering being able to barely read that stuff. I am fate. I am the keeper of world order. Ha! We meet again! <laughs> We, um, uh, have not met before. Are you feeling well? Anyway, welcome to your new job as an overseer of Cosmopolis City Subdivision 4, the Sun County Wine Region. I know what you are thinking, and yes, your assignment is choosing humans who have to die. Pretty standard stuff. Grim goes on Joe Rogan to talk about his boss. <laughs> and then I bring up then I bring up chimps and then it goes on another hour and a half. Off topic. As it is your first day, try to get to know the system and do not destroy the world. Yes? <laughs> Gallows humor. You see? Right. Yes. Clear? Extremely. I'd like to get to work right now. Oh, the commitment. Yes. Onward to your workplace. One more thing. This will be your seven-day evaluation period. When the week is done, you will be assessed. One week to show us what you are made of, Reaper. So I think what my strategy is going to be is that if I can, if I think I can do the task at hand that gets me paid without fucking up the whole the whole unit the whole world then I'm going to do that but otherwise I'm going to try and make logistical and moral judgments and ignore the orders like if the orders are crazy like kill everyone in the bottom row I'm just not going to do that because that's very fucking stupid Holy shit! It's all on my desk! Oh, I have this back! Cool, cool. I'll put it away for now. Oh, 
this shows me, like, the status of the world. You see a bunch of pluses and everything. Nobody is on fire. I see. That's interesting. Crime Watch. Latest research. Several local gambling dens run by radical criminal organizations. Okay. Why does my... Why does my piggy bank have little pigs following it? What the fuck? And this is like a weird breathalyzer that like shows me... Like my stats, I guess? Oh, remember the bar keeps that it duplicates. That's so interesting. When the snow globe is bad, it becomes an orange flavor cube. <laughs> Oragne. Right, that's my uh, flip coin. Put this as far away as possible. Yes, I know I have unmarked profiles. I'm not I'm trying to get everything out of the fucking way. God damn it. Whatever, it can sit there. That's fine. Oops, eraser can go in here. Okay, I'm just really trying to get everything in a position that... One human must die. Pediatrician, 40. Zola or Ji Omiata. Don't give Boo to the cat this time. Okay. We'll keep Boo this time. Zola specializes in child abuse pediatrics and is able to determine signs of abuse from very subtle signs. They've had a key role in saving countless children from dangerous environments. Good. Zaqueen de Almeida, 26. Nurse. Zaqueen works... At the Cosmopolis Center of Biomedicine, a research hospital in which the addition, in addition to patient healthcare, also analyzes many rare and dangerous toxins in their high-security wing. They're also a fan of gambling and have lately accrued many debts. I'm wondering if Boo is happier and can help us in this run. I don't know if that's a thing, but we'll see. So, this person is very helpful. But they also are a gambler. But, like, who cares if they're a gambler? I don't really care. They can ruin their own life as long as they're doing their job. So. Plus health, plus environment. Plus health, plus peace. Yep. First day. I am not fucking around. I am not paying. I am not listening to this shit. Winter. I like that winter vegetable. <laughs> no voice in the mirror this time. Oh, the new death spawn. Welcome. How was your first day? The day was awesome. I didn't kill anyone. Grim, I understand <laughs> that John can be stressful. That these decisions do not come lightly. You cannot let everybody know. All our choices have serious consequences. Even if you cannot foresee them. I know, I am gonna kill people, just not those two people. That is what I am for. Trust me, and I will guide you. I don't trust you. It will be for the benefit of everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know what you're up to, so let's skip this. Uh, me? I am to check your work and educate you on any errors. But if you are so confident as to know better than me, all right, let us see how you manage. <laughs> I have great hopes for you. Do not disappoint me. 
Yeah, I'm not killing the whole world like you wanted. I assume that there's that there are consequences if you really deviate too much. Like he'll, he'll repri you've been reprimanded too much. We're gonna have to fire you, and then it's a game over. So I'll have to follow his orders once in a while, at least. I assume. Any voices? No. Nope. I have great hopes for you. Why the fuck you lie and why you always lie in? <laughs> all right. Come one, come all. Ace pilots to host a dazzling air show for Grimm. One human with an info technology background has to die. We'll see about that. Erikir Valborg, 26, community manager. Eric here is an avid digital sports euthanist who works at the office of the Parallax Digital Sports League. They're also a death metal vocalist passionate about getting the very best out of performances. Air Force Captain. So, supposedly this guy has to die according to this. Let's see. Stefan de Jean. Stefan enjoys hiking, woodworking, and collecting picture frames with stock phones. They still kind of enjoy programming, but find it hard to stay up with all the latest trends. They have seven children with five different people. Oh, and lead a local nonprofit trash cleanup organization. Do I kill that guy? Hmm. Kevin Mason, 35, Air Force Captain. Kevin, born and raised at the Mac Interior Air Base. Loves through flying planes in tense combat situations. Their family has a history of military service. Kevin is dedicated to their spouse and seven-year-old child, rarely taking any time for themselves. Mm, oh my god, stop fucking lying. This guy does a non-profit trash cleanup thing. And he has seven children. I don't want to be completely and utterly... I don't want to get caught extremely early on. So I think, uh... Seven, is he a Weasley? Well, it's with five different people. So I assume there are a, lot, a lot of them are bastard children. I like this tune. Uh, I don't, I really, I don't want to kill the guy, but he isn't necessarily all that important. He does the trash? He does trash cleanup, which is pretty good, but oh, you know what? This time I will fill the quota so I don't get too suspicious. Yeah, it's only a minus environment, minus well. Oh well. Uh, li letting that guy live is only negative, apparently. That's annoying. Plus environment, minus money, minus peace. Okay. I still don't know how this breathalyzer works, but whatever. I already read this, right? Yeah. Dull voice. I also like to live dangerously. Oh, do you have uh, anything to say to me? No, you don't. Arcianito. Really? How was the second day on the job? More or less like the previous time. Oh, you mean like yesterday? <laughs> yes, I suppose so. So, did you follow the rules properly? Yes, I'm following your rules. Wonderful. It is nice to see one so driven. The only thing I'm suspicious about of this of this timeline right here, this second, this new game plus thing, is that because we have all these 
sassing options. It may, I feel like this is going to be one of those types of plots where it's like a double negative. Where because we have all these sass, these sass options, fate, I think the indication might be that fate knows that this is an alternate timeline that I'm trying to change away from him. And so he's going to give me different instructions to to try and drive me to do the same thing. Imagine your fate. Grim insults your book and you kill him. You make a new Grim. He says, you'll never be a writer, bitch. <laughs> Honestly, if I can talk him out of being a writer, I think I will. <laughs> Continue the good work and do not let tough choices get you down. Sounds great. Great indeed. We could use more spawns with your attitude. Rest well. You will need it. See you soon. Let's go see what I can buy. Just a. I want to see if there's new Welcome wares. Back, good customer. Tis nice of you to visit me Emporium again. Though, I may have little to provide you. Never mind those other options. You want to buy my award plaque? What are you, Mortimer? Me? I'm still Quartermaster Mortimer, the procurer of chances. Try not to worry about it. The paths we travel are not manifest, but full of many twists and turns. Do take a gander at the items old Mortimer has remaining. Yeah, Mortimer is like a time traveler of some kind. Anpu, God of the Dead, mummification embalming, the afterlife, cemeteries and tombs, and the protector of the underworld. This hound really gets around. It grants you a stunning, a stunningly canine visit. I could look like a dog, <laughs> I guess. Okay. Again, if we can get away with doing the task to get paid, I'm willing to do that, but I'm definitely not going to do it if, uh, if there are problems. Programmer dies of fatal error. Fuck you. <laughs> Fancy flying convinces government to increase funds of all-purpose fighter aircraft research. Research has been struggling due to aircraft being bad at literally everything. What? <laughs> what do you mean? Parents, beware. Death battle artists may be trying to summon demons. No, fuck you. A new day dawns! You ought to know the drill by now, but just in case, here's another simple one. Just two humans must die? Well, if there are two people who are pieces of shit, I will do that. But if not... Hey, it's this guy! We saw him at the end of the last one. H. Bob Abalone, again. And no, we're not killing this guy. I'm just immediately just gonna let him live. I'm gonna... Plus world health. Yep. Ziani Wright. 24, food service assistant. Ziani prepares the food for cooking, beverages, and drinking. Later, Later, they clean the kitchen work areas. It's routine and repetitive work, but it's the best they can manage while trying to get themselves through college. They've learned to cope with the struggle after their parents died when they were very young. Well, I don't want to kill them, particularly. Columba Hunter, 47 airplane pilot. Columba is a distinguished war veteran these days working as a well-regarded passenger airplane pilot. Happily married and have five children. The hobby, he is extremely interested in the history of religious buildings. Don't want to kill you, really. Leo Bozharski, politician. Leo has been in politics for over 40 years, and in that time they've worked hard on relaxing the government's meddling in the real estate market. Although nobody has found paper proof, there have been rumors that he has taken many bribes. Rock climber, Chloe Miller. It is not worth moral or immoral kills, but rather the death that is the most funny. True. 
Flo is constantly training to conquer Rock Worm Peak by free climbing the full height of it for charity. The practice regimen was hindered by having their leg broken in three places. I remember this person from the end as well. Well, you're a politician that's kind of evil, so I'm gonna get rid of you. World peace is up from killing you. Yeah, no, I I'm not gonna kill you. There's no reason to. Yep, plus world health, plus peace or so environment, something like that. I don't really want to kill the pilot either. I don't want to kill the rock climber either. You know what? I said I wasn't going to follow the rules. Wait a minute. I didn't even pay attention to what... Minus economy plus peace. Okay. Plus health minus environment. That's fine. I don't care. I'll take an environmental hit. A death that Hugbees can make a video on. <laughs> you have anything to say to me? You don't. Grim, my latest spawn. Three days you have been with us. How do you feel? Awesome! Balancing the world, getting things done. Excellent. That is what I hope. As you may imagine, it is important to keep morale up in our line of work. Now, let me take a look at the files you sent in today. <laughs> I see. <laughs> fewer deaths than was required. <laughs> I do hope this will not become like a thing where I have to keep reiterating that you have made mistakes and that you should follow the rules to the letter because I really do not feel like doing it every day. Alas, if that is what it takes... You didn't have to do it yesterday, motherfucker. Bruh, Grim just cackling like that while fate is annoyed. <laughs> that really is not much else to say. You may leave. See you tomorrow. Reprimand! I don't care. I, as long as I don't get reprimanded so much that they, like, kill me, it, it should be fine. I didn't get any money today, so I can't buy anything. Any words for me? Nope, no words. Cool, let's go. <laughs> go! That's five people. If you looked outside today, there's far too many people walking around out there, causing unforeseen discord. Time to rebalance the sheets. Three humans, any younger humans must die. Well, we'll see about that. He'll kill people who don't pass the five checks. Cage Robson, 25, food courier. Cage has started a food courier for some extra money. Their life changed at a supermarket. After tapping a customer on the shoulder, they were struck by an intense vision. Since then, they've tried to convince everyone that an omnipotent being walks among humans, loitering in stores, asking people to sign a petition about it. What? Henry Birch, 43, literary critic. When the adolescent Henry poked a fellow student with a pen, they realized, oh yeah, this guy's a fucking asshole. Grim, I'm watching. You should mark this profile to live. Chandra Lekka May, 21 student, studies a lot and has perfect grades at school, but still finds time to volunteer at the local soup kitchen as much as possible. They sometimes even buy extra soup materials with their own money. Making a lot of disadvantaged groups a lot more happy, okay? Rust Angelos, firefighter. Join the firefighters primarily to get access to free gym and woo people at bars by flexing or beating out. They save so many lives. Curiously enough, every time there's a big wildfire, they take sick leave. 
Okay, I just... But hold on. Dane Real McCoy, 43. Podcaster, comedian, sad person. Dane is basically a default human with few to none bells or whistles attached. They sigh a lot, they sigh a lot, and are often grumpy. Or just sit in the corner silently. It may be their secret way of coming up with jokes that are the originator of comedy podcasts about bad films. Yeah, I wanna, I kinda wanna kill the firefighter. I do think I want to kill three people. I'm not going to kill the two young people, though. Well, this guy is also young. I think I'm willing to kill three people here in hopes I get half pay. So, uh, let's see. Plus environment, plus economy. Good. Ooh. Plus environment, minus health, minus peace. Interesting. I don't know why that would happen, but... Let's kill the sad man. Oh, that was only bad. Minus economy, minus peace. Uh-oh. Not doing great here. Plus peace, plus economy. Good. Minus peace, okay. Maybe I could have killed that guy instead. Actually, mm, I can only erase one thing though, right? Moves a mark from a profile, but then is consumed. too late. <laughs> Grim, there you are. Let us be quick. All the profiles are here, just as requested. Excellent work. Although you made an error with my test note, such inattention is not commendable. No, 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 no. It's not. That was intentional. I do not fully understand what you are planning to do with these small and trivial acts of rebellion. You are mainly just making it more difficult for yourself. No, not really. Mm. Fuck off, cat. Anyway, I am quite busy tonight, so you can go. Until tomorrow, Grim. Oh, I assume I don't get paid, but still? Oh no, I do get paid, okay. So I can, I can do a partial requirement and still get money. That's good. What ho! How can me humble and not at all adventurous self assist you today? Honestly, might as well. Who cares? Dear me, tis a tragic tale. You ever hear of the Dia de Mortos? No. A wild night, certainly. There we was, celebrating the passing of me amigo. Several days later, woke up buried under a mountain of empty bottles. This mass stuck to me face. Never knew where it came from. But I will happily let the memory of me fellow buccaneer and me headache be carried by another. <laughs> All right. It is a cute skull. If I wasn't so focused on pumpkin, I would probably wear it. Oh, no business, no uh, words from her. Tragic tale, Snortimer, you partied. <laughs> there we go. Cage the Rage. They're real, I tell you. Saw them with my own eyes. They, ha they had glasses and suits and everything. Firefighter heroically escapes burning bar only to be impaled by a forklift. Critic dies from blood poisoning after accidentally stabbing themselves with a pen. Comedian chokes on stage literally. Forgot what I named this guy as Maru's cousin Tony or whatever. He could go to the VOD and find out. Mundane day, nothing out of the ordinary going on anywhere. Regular day in the usual district of the typical planet. Who longs for some excitement? 
Quota for the day, two humans have to die, spare humans with a food service background. Okay. Border Guard, Ira Maluta, 36. Ira is very irate. They're also exceedingly corrupt and prone to violence. Instead of being a professional border guard, they harass any people passing through the border zone and often resort to stealing some of their stuff. Have to get two humans? Okay. Amira Kormakur, 48, superintendent. This one's name is Pretzel. Nice. Amira has a secret child with... Uh, an intimate with an inmate and is the main supplier of narcotics to her prison. On the side, they're developing a nationwide cost-cutting regiment that would automate the whole prison system, removing all personnel and leaving only robots. Eh, hey, you know, just a killing thing like normal, you know. Mahala I, sous chef. Mahala's a rising star in the culinary world. Vicariously executing the head chefs, with an iron fist and a brass mouth, their workers have daydreams of their tragic demise. Fair backgrounds with food service. Yeah, I'm fine with sparing this person. Minus peace plus economy. Interesting. So, yeah, getting rid of this guy was just good. It was plus peace plus environment. Fiona Ishifani, 57. Sommelier? Sommelier? Fiona can identify just about every wine taste profile. They're so prolific, they can even make up what they don't... They even make up what they don't know. Lately, they've been trying out increasingly more obscure wines. They also like doing tasting exercises with their children, using various craft sodas. They do not, however, endorse alcohol abuse. Okay, you seem like a good person. So, uh, yeah. Minus economy plus health plus peace. Very good. I like it. Only two have to die, so it's between... It's between... Oh, no, one more. I killed one person already. So it's between these three people of who I kill. Okay. Unless I can't fill that, but we'll see. Meanwhile, my friend, this whiskey tastes like whiskey. <laughs> Yeah, this woman is uh, probably going to die, but we'll see in a moment. The Lane Coeur, 39, climate scientist. Liliane hails from a small village on the coast where they spent their early years studying... Lethiology. This later inspired them to turn their attention towards global matters. The multi... Multitudinous... <laughs> interrelated networks that make up our planet. Oh my god. Sigmund Darren, 28. Microbrewer, bartender. Lives together with their artist girlfriend. They craft beer and Viking. They like craft beer and Viking. Sigmund's brew was voted best local craft beer of the year twice. Yeah, this woman here is fucking dead. Fuck you. What were the consequences of that? None. It was only a good thing. No consequences. It was a good thing for them to survive. Peace and economy. Very good. Cool. Did we read all this on the... Yes, we did. All right, let's go. I did my quota, and I don't think I made mistakes. What a day, Grim. What a day. Let us go over your conduct first. Good. I see the correct amount of profiles. Today seems to be in order. Anyway, Grim, five days you have been with us. How does it feel to make the difficult choices? Honestly, I feel like I'm not killing enough people. I've grown to enjoy it because I know this is my second chance, and so I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying foiling him trying to destroy the world. Ah, 
I told you one would get used to it. Uh, at least, I hope I told you. Corporate motivation and all that. But think of the humans. Do you think our office is the appropriate way to deal with them? Not really. Is there another way? Perhaps I... No, never mind. I have not found a way around the tradition. And I have been here a long time. Never met a cat I didn't like till now, little bitch. Yeah, the cat, the cat seems to just mirror his own opinions. This control over all the lives, unbeknownst to the humans. Do you not consider it unethical to make the choices you make? Not happy about the situation, no. Yet you have no opportunity to elicit a change. It may sound unfair, but it is not. The office is perennial and venerated. Eons we have spent designing the appropriate methods and strategy. We know what we are doing. Oh, I do apologize for taking up so much of your time. Before you go, are there any questions you would like to ask me? Not really. Right. It has been enlightening. I bid you a good night. See you tomorrow. Fuck is his problem? Well, at the end of the la- Okay, I don't know if you were cycling at the time and you didn't hear, but like he explained at the end of the first dimension that we went through, of the first playthrough, that he is literally just so tired of having to preside over all these humans that he engineered a way to make us kill everyone. Oh, you mean to, like, insult him? <laughs> yeah. Well, I uh, did exactly what I wanted to while also making money, so let's go take a look. Have ye seen such <gasps> deals before? Tis ye who plunders me. How much is this? Only 200? A pair of sleek, stylish, modern glasses that grant a pleasant face to wear and make me look wicked smart. Way smarter than the boss, you know. We don't really plunder educational organizations, eh? You can't rob the ideas hiding inside the brain. Well, usually. So where did I get these fancy scholarly glasses, you ask? Once, they belonged to a royal merchant whose caravan I held at gunpoint. So he made me an offer I couldn't refuse. Tis be a powerful artifact, turning one into a formidable business powerhouse. How'd ye think I got a hold of this shop? <laughs> I honestly want to consider changing. Knock, knock. Yeah, yeah, I know what you are. Good. Round we go again. Didn't think you had it in you. I'm sure everything will turn out different this time. For pals, right? Any suggestions? Keep them guessing and watch your back, Reaper. Please tell me I could put glasses on the pumpkin. No! I can't put glasses on the pumpkin. I like this one. Oh, so if we uh, put on the glasses, we have like a feet. So the, the cigarette is a male face. The glasses are a female face. I see. is so dumb the victim said i'll let you have my magic glasses if you leave me alone and smortimer did honestly let's get let's get even classier let's uh let's get the top hat and my avatar here has it yeah but on the weekends damn it we seem to be on the precipice of dark times I may have warned you that this job can have some harsh moments. Today is that day. A total of six humans have to die. At least two humans age 60 or older have to die. Any humans? 
with an economy related revenge. Guy. This is very serious. No, I'm not listening to this one. This is too many people. Total pumpkin head ass. Yep. Yeah, no, I'm not listening to these orders today. Nope, not happening. Local Brewer wins the best beer of the year competition. The third time in a row. A new modern painting exhibition. Pictures of happiness. Human trafficking ring shut down. Savant sommelier recognizes anomaly is wine caused by a victim's tears in the soil. What the fuck? <laughs> what? What? That is like the wildest thing you could possibly have put for somebody tasting wine. What the fuck? Foodies, restaurant staff in revolt against authoritarian sous chef. Pro news, border guard apparently wandered off in the desert while highly inebriated. Hasn't been located yet. Prison superintendent found dead on a narcotics overdose. Good. There may be hope for our planet yet. Scientists on the verge of a breakthrough that may help the dwindling fish population. Today's report, construction flaws being hidden. A troubled trend on the rise. Interesting. So this is one of those times where, like, he wants six people dead, and he wants very specific people dead. I'm ignoring it, because it's too, it's too overly complicated, and it just goes straight into his stupid plan to destroy the world anyway. John baptiste Cortine, 70, retired. A lot of these I probably read before in the first in the first playthrough, so I'll skim through them to figure out what's going on here, rather than reading them all aloud again. So this guy seems wholesome. He's a PTSD victim who made a who made a who made do with what he had, and he uh, had a good life, and he he did a lot of good things. So I immediately forgot to check. Plus economy, plus health. Job Bing, 65, retired, great from their grandchild in life. Job, I don't remember this character, so. Jop dreams of gaining their favor, or more specifically after, their favor in death by passing their priceless heirloom necklaces, a deed hard to perform while they live due to the restraining order. Okay, so they want to die. Okay. Health plus is when the humans get more gamer gum gummies. <laughs> Zenfit van der War, Senator. I feel like I remember this person. So plus peace, plus environment, minus economy, minus health. Whatever. Ras Rushid, 53 banker. I think I remember him. This seems this I don't know how good this is. Um I'll consider him, but not but not pick yet. Harrison Stewart. Mysterious capitalist? No one knows much about Harrison. Their history and identity are both mysteries. Most often they are seen moving around in a wheelchair, barely speaking a word to anyone, although it is known they once helped a lost detective. Interesting. I'll put him down in the, the that pile again as well. Catalina Worthington. Oh, I remember her. Yeah, the Jiggle TV lady. Um, I don't see a reason to kill her. Yotor Adamski. 23 nanny. A nanny who's somewhat of the somewhat well-off middle class. That's what Piotr came to Cosmopolis City for. With the an initial one-year contract. They saw it as a decent way to escape their reconstructed home country, their reconstruction era home country. Plus comedy, plus peace. Very good. Krista Sind, 50, real estate agent. Krista 
has worked in real estate for 20 years. Got a nice house, they'll sell it. Got a crooked house, home, house, they'll sell that too, even fetching a high price. Some deficiencies must be concealed, of course, but money is money, right? No, 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 no. Don't lie to people. You get to die. This guy strikes me as one of those uh, television economists who you see go on who, who tries to help people invest their middle class funds. Like, I've seen people like that on the television that they're actually very helpful. Um, especially on, like, local news, like, statewide news programs. Like, those types of uh, television economists are actually very helpful, usually. So... Ooh, minus wealth, minus environment, plus economy, or plus peace. That's weird. I don't know why yeah, this lady, I have no reason to want to. This guy is, this guy is an interesting mystery, but I'm going to let him live. Plus economy, plus peace. Very good. All right. I don't trust any TV economists. I, I guess it depends upon who it is, right? I guess it does depend on who it is. The ones that I uh, saw when I was a teenager were like actually helping middle class people with uh, with their money. So that's how it was for me. Uh, yeah, so we basically ignored this and I don't really care. We had to kill six, we only killed four. The ones nowadays are all political. Ah, I see, I see. Hey! Can we fuck you in this dimension? Oh, hello there. I'm Sari, and I welcome you to... to Cerberus's Den, the finest drinking establishment this side of the border. I <laughs> sure as heck haven't seen you before. You must be brand new. Just dapper like the river after all. Yeah, but screams vintage. Thank you. Are you liking existence thus far? Same as the last time I existed. <laughs> huh. You're one of these odd reapers, aren't you? Always saying cryptic things. She wants to fuck, but she can't hear you because you're at the end of a tunnel. <laughs> Get a different drink now? I hope so, yeah. Can't blame you, though. Better to spice things up. This place can get boring otherwise. Okay, newbie, before we continue, I got this little game I play with every fresh faced patron. All you gotta do is answer a series of questions, and I'll craft a personalized drink inspired by what you said. It's like a quiz. Do we get a new drink, or do we do this? Because this, I like I like the sass. Um, hmm. 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 Oh, man. You know what? New life, new drink. I'm not going to make mistakes this Here time. Here we go. Prepare for question number one. Your friends got in deep trouble with the boss of a local criminal organization. Now a team of brutes are coming for you all. If you work together. You may be able to figure out the situation. What will you do? Just your friends at achieving an optimal outcome. Time for question number two. You see a turtle laying on its back, belly baking in the scorching sun. It beats its legs, trying to flip over, but it can't. Without your help, you are not helping. Why aren't you helping? <laughs> Question three. You are given the chance to level up one attribute of your character. Which aspect would you increase? <laughs> Bonestitution, calligraphy, hapesdom, grimism, <laughs> severity, skull -igent. I'm a, I'm a TTRG player, so this is hilarious to me. Bone 
Constitution. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna do Grim. I, I kind of want to do this because it's just so funny. But what would I do in reality? I think it, I think in reality in this scenario, if I was playing like a actual role playing game with this character, I would want higher intelligence so I can make the correct choice. Wait, no, 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 wait. Capes them. This is wis. This is based on wisdom, actually. Maybe I go with this one, actually. Yeah, wisdom is. Wisdom is a good stat. You know, yeah, let's do it. Capes them. Alright, final stretch. As I said, four is all anyone ever needs, right? After years of working a stable, albeit a monotonous office desk job, you are let go due to a corporate downsizing. This, however, has given you a chance to reinvent yourself. What will you become? Uh. Well, this is this is all a bit out of out of proportion. Become a mathematician. I don't want to do that. Working is dumb and lame and pointless. I don't want to do that either. I don't want to murder everyone though. I mean, I guess ideally I would want to be doing a job that is so fun that I don't even feel like it's work. So I guess I go with this. <laughs> Working is dumb and lame and pointless. We got it. Let me just <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Loud, critical, many grievances. Not difficult to figure out what mixture this has to be. Third stuff, four centiliters of salmiac licorice and two centiliters of a botanical spirit of paradise. Anything that's not gin, basically. Then, two deciliters of hot chocolate and topped with whipped cream. I feel like I feel like this is almost identical to the last one I got. Hey, are you quite sure? Yeah, I got sour grouse. I got sour grouse again. Wabia, on to the bartender. Overflows the taste of an oceanic planet in the throngs of a subcrustal collapse. The acerbic turmoil of a quake and crystalline cave glittering in all the colors of the spectrum, leaving you hollow on the inside. He's not lame. Maybe I just answered the quiz almost identically to the last time. It's almost a death changing experience. I'll say, last time I said I guess I like it, this time I'll say reasonably yummy. An understatement of the century. Now what else can I get you? No, I didn't. Oh. Heck, were I able to count and name all the folks? We've got you reapers and all the myriad cadaver resources. They're just not the odds. But someone's got to deal with the internal issues. Middle management. Nobody knows what they actually do. Right. Any of the regular workers come by for that now, so keep your eyes and ears. What else you got in mind? Au revoir, little reaper. I don't care about talking to Gus again. <laughs> I just don't care. I forget. Do I have money? I don't remember. Good patron, may ship of goods is at your service. I have four hundred. I can't even get the ears. That's fine. Oh, I need to talk. I forgot. Uh, what the fuck? Ah, Grim. It looks to be a rough day out there. New recruits often falter during dark. So, you guys didn't just see what happened, but for some reason, my fucking Skyrim mod organizer program suddenly just tried to launch spontaneously. And I don't know why. Like, it just started, it just put a load screen in front of my, in front of the game, and I was like, what? I didn't, I didn't click on that. What? As I thought, you have marked fewer deaths than necessary. What happened? Ooh, I'm gonna get in trouble. I could just say this. Uh, 
by dying. I had to try. I couldn't just choose. Yet choose you must. The responsibility laid upon you cannot be avoided, even if it feels like a burden. Hey, I only killed one less person than you asked. Would you kindly pay more heed to these matters in the future? We must focus. Let us hope these days do not continue. Any idea of what happened? Don't you know what happened? You're in charge, after all. Yes, I am. And yes, I do. Yet what use is a reaper who cannot discern the situation from the details in front of them? Your answer would intrigue me, yes? Perhaps an economic crash, corruption, bad management? Interesting. An insightful streak may yet rattle inside that skull of yours. Hmm? Off you go now, Grim. Good night. Keep saying he'll kill you, but then he doesn't. <laughs> well, yeah, that's the thing. I'm wondering... I'm wondering what the threshold is before I get, like, in trouble trouble. Okay, the mirror woman it has no words for it. We can do one more and then we'll be done for tonight. Morning, Griff. Clean up the mess from yesterday that might give you just the boost you need. Do not forget, you may leave troubles behind, but new ones always lie ahead. Two humans must die. Spare humans who seem helpful against... Against the troubles. Spare humans helpful against the troubles. Okay? If we can kill two people that are shitty, then uh, that's what we'll do. Modern health. Do we need better PTSD care? Yes, we do. Respected financier publishes a book of romantic poetry. Critics baffle. Tune in today. These live streams by a jolly elder woman are worth it. Real estate legend Krista Sind crushed after house collapse during a sale. Client managed to escape. Economists. The economy mysteriously get... The economy mysteriously getting better. Polito. A legend passes. Santa van der Waar dies in their office chair once they... The one they fought for decades ago as a young progressive. Okay. Francois Fukushima, scam artist. Liar, Liar and Grifter. Eh. Easy. Yeah, this is just all pluses. The streamer is Skyrim Grandma. Yeah. Angus Armitage. Policy consultant. There's nothing like the smell of... So, our phone said that the... Uh, said that uh, the economy mysteriously is getting better, so I think that we don't necessarily need economists to live anymore. Because, like, the troubles we know is going to be a zombie apocalypse. Not an economic crash. But maybe we don't have to care too much. I think, like, I only have to kill two people, though, so... Nothing like the smell of freshly minted coal in the morning. I'm probably gonna kill that guy, uh, but we'll see. Broidless Sangalia tries to spice up their rather monotonous life by flirting with customers at work. Things didn't go very swimmingly in this regard until the day Carlia started wearing their late grandmother's heirloom necklace. That one client in particular seems very interesting. That's strange and sus. Irvin Rami. Vigilante! 40. I lurk in the night, searching for bloodsuckers. Irvin has said the authorities many times. They claim to be a vampire hunter, safeguarding humanity against the terrors of the night. But are vampires truly out there? 
The answer might surprise you. It's no. <laughs> Zinga Angu. Student. Zinga is a transfer student whose home country is currently in the middle of a protest against the regime. Happy about being away from it all, but worried about their family and friends back home. The school's also doing smaller protests, which is elevating their stress levels. Louis Zimenez. Restaurant owner. Punchables for Shark Fin. Oh, I hate. I remember that guy. I don't like him. Fuck. I feel like this vigilante is gonna kill somebody. But this guy is literally murdering sharks. In date an endangered species. Oh god, I wanna kill more people than usual. Um Wow. Uh, this person, I'm just gonna right off the bat say live. There's like nothing wrong with this person living. What? What do you, what, 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 why? What? Why is them living a problem? The fuck? I really don't like Shark Finn, man. I really, really don't like him. I don't like this guy either, but I don't know if he will single-handedly cause, like, global destruction. Served in their restaurant for decades. This, this lady is a piece of shit, but, um... What if I do try killing more people than usual? Is that really uh, a terrible thing for me to do? Turtle jelly. Oh my god. I feel like I want to meet the quota so that I don't get in trouble again. I feel like consecutive troubles are going to lead to me being murdered and decommissioned. So I have to kill only one last person. I just really hate Sharkfin, man. I really hate this guy. But now everyone else will live, which I'm not happy with either, because this guy's going to hurt someone. Yeah, I thought so. Plus economy, minus everything else. You know what? Maybe I say fuck it and I do just kill them. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. First time ever of using this. I am gonna fucking kill more people than usual. You can live. It's fine. It's not a devil voice if the people are pieces of trash. Wasn't so good, was it? It's okay. We can figure it out, make it work. First bend clear like the azure pond at the forest glade. <laughs> I'm just getting started, and this time I have got a plan. I sort of have a plan, yeah. Fate the clueless. You won't get waylaid again. <laughs> the world trembles with the revolutions you will bring forth. <laughs> it's very close, Grand Peter. We see you. You know what's gonna piss me off is if this lady voice is also evil and trying to do something just as bad as fate. What the fuck? What the fuck? What are you doing here, odd plant? What do you think? Having a nice, relaxing drink? <laughs> Straight cat! <gasps> Hang on, are you from the plant department? Who told you about the plant department? 
I'm not supposed to know about the plant department? No one is supposed to know about the plant department. Forget what you heard, Sonny. No such thing. Anyway. I don't believe you. Not gonna lose any sleep over that, Sonny. No such thing, but I hope. Who dares to hope in this day and age? Come on, you can tell me. Uh, ain't nothing to tell. Don't be such a killjoy. Don't poke your nose where it don't belong. Seriously, you can trust me. Can we? Can we really? I can keep a secret. You have to tell me. You're not gonna leave us alone otherwise? Yeah. Sunny, it's just a regular department. Not even that big, but it's very busy. Why didn't you say so to begin with? We're real tired of folks asking about the plant department. It's why we visit the den on Sundays. Lowers the chance of bothersome busybodies with annoying questions. Who even gave you the idea the department is anything interesting? Doesn't the Mystery Act just make you more compelling to people? Eh, I mean, can't help it though. There's theater in my xylem. Anything else, seeing as we're now deep in the soil of inquiry? What's your name? Me? I'm Herbert. Tara, make Herbert meet the veggies. He is friendly undead plant. You know, sort of like a herb. <laughs> If it's not too much trouble, I just think it's funny. Pleased to meet you. Who were you before you became a plant reed? I'll say pleased to meet you first, because it's flight. Don't forget the green fella holding me up. That's my pal, Tim. Ah, Tim Tim's and Herbert. Tim and Herbert. Say hello, Tim. Hello, Tim. Who's Tim? Tim's my partner. All root, stem, and leaf. Sometimes they bloom and <laughs> have the most delightful aroma. Then the bees from the bee department find us very attractive. Oh my god, what the fuck? There's a whole department for bees? Anything else? There's a bee department? Of course. Makes perfect sense, don't it? Uh... Don't ask about the plant department. <laughs> Anything else? There's really nothing unusual about the plant department. Okay. We see you got a keen mind, so we'll let you in on a secret. But you didn't hear this from us. Gotta promise you won't spill a bean. I promise, not a word. If at some point you break your word, be clear. Our Rizo reaches far and wide. Right into your room. No, no, it's fine. And these roots can rip the skull off a skeleton in an instant. Snap. Damn, that's harsh. A fitting punishment for the wicked. Snap, I say. So listen closely. We are secretly seated. Who will summon the antediluvian monster god by us for us? Are you just messing with me? No. Obviously. Super serious. This whole root snapping bones thing? Honestly, Sonny, we just use a knife. <laughs> that Ossie, it looks like the potato was playing the game. <laughs> Adorable. Right, I'll catch you later. Not in this lifetime, Sonny. Oh. That's an interesting hint. Because it makes me wonder if, uh... If I lean too far into the environmental assistance, does that mean a different apocalypse will happen? Hmm. Hey, hey, pleased to see you again. Ain't much happening here. Sunday. Anything I can get you? The deal with the plant. What is the potato strategy today? Uh, he's trying to make sure the people of this game's world are nice and comfy. 
and only die because they are bad people. And that we do not cause another zombie apocalypse. He is very smart, yes. What's the deal with the plan? My favorite pop shop full of plant department goodness. They usually drop it on Sundays due to an aversion of people, which is funny because they're really quite sociable. Personally, I love their quirky sense of humor. What else is there to say? Au revoir, Lil Reaper. He's gonna be pissed at me. Welcome, Grim. It is the end of the week. Your performance review draws near. It's How all. Do you think you have been doing? It's all going according to plan. Interesting. Hmm. Yes, your answer has been recorded for the psyche eval. Now then, before the assessment, let us look over your daily conduct. Oh boy. Uh, I hope this run doesn't end here. I see more people died than required. It does not bode well for the evaluation, but such is death. Let us get this server can be the next stream mark. Oh yeah, that that's a cool idea. Yeah. Now, where did I put those papers? Ah, if it's not a pain in the ass. Yeah. Right. Looking at these stats, the numbers say I fucked up. You have performed adequately. Oh, I have per I've performed adequately. Okay, thank you. Oh, do not thank me, Grim. This is not praise. I had hoped for more than adequate. Do not let this cloud your judgment. You still have much to learn and many rules to follow. Or rules. One gets used to them, if in the right mindset. Fret not. As such, your seven-day evaluation period has concluded. You have passed. I have avoided being decommissioned. That is all. Until tomorrow, Grim. No money, though. Uh, did anything change in Cerberus before, right before I go to bed? Let's just take a quick look. We talked to Gus in the previous playthrough, don't need to go through anything with him. And now, here we are! Alright then, well, thank you all very much for joining me here tonight. I really appreciate you coming here to hang out with me. We will be back in four days, Wednesday, if you live in the United States. We're either going to continue this game, because this game is very chill, or we'll go back to uh, World of Horror chill stream. And then, of course, next Friday, Saturday, we will play this game again back to back. So either we're, we're playing either three times or two times next week. And I uh, hope you all been enjoying it. If you happen to be new here and you enjoyed hanging out with us tonight, if you think I deserve a follow, I'd appreciate that quite a bit. We stream three times a week for approximately two hours. And this stream will be re-uploaded to YouTube tomorrow night, where we'll join every single stream I've ever done. So if there are any you want to catch up on, you can find all of them there. Link is in the About section. And yeah, I've been enjoying this game. I'm very curious about how the choices work. And once we do, like, a more ideal ending, where we're trying to avoid a, an apocalypse of some sort, then we can try, like, a super evil route to see if we can bring about the end faster than normal, or if we'll just get decommissioned very quickly for killing too many people. I don't know, but we'll see. This game is a three gigabyte game, so I expect there to be a lot more left uh, from us trying to get a different ending over and over again. And to be quite frank, if there's, like, more than two endings... Then we'll pr I'll probably get a guide, and we'll probably go through it and just try to get all the endings with a guide up, you know? So that it doesn't take, like, a month, you know? But yeah, I've been enjoying it a lot. It's very nice and chill. Just listen to the music. It's so chill. I like it. But yeah, uh, we also went hella over time because of uh, the NPC I did not anticipate. The, the, new plant, the new plant NPC. 
Herbert. I was not expecting that. But, uh, yeah, so now it's time for me to get out of your hair. So thank you all very much for being here. I appreciate your support in every capacity. I hope you have a good afternoon, evening, morning, etc. I will see you all again soon with, uh, you know, a chill stream and then more death and taxes. Ciao!